Roland turned us on to a brand new rom com. <laughs> Vince Vaughn. Should we see the trailer at least before we move on to other things? I or? would love to. Yeah. We're talking about how um I was just watching rom com trailers last night on, on Fios. You do check the preview and you just like I read the synopsis and then I'm like checking the let me watch the preview. That sounds douchey enough. And oh, just the worst fucking things and just giving away the whole movie obviously yeah so you don't have to you know watch it to to really get embarrassed you know they have a reason why they do that but when you're sitting in a movie theater you want to go no oh. stop yeah i don't need the whole fucking movie given yeah. to me right now what's the um and you have no choice you have to sit through that shit before your movie starts it's called the uh, the delivery i believe vin diesel that's what i thought of you Oh, I didn't say Vin Diesel. I said Vince Vaughn. Oh, Vince Vaughn. <laughs> exactly. The heart on you have is due to Vin Diesel. <laughs> Get All right, here it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> my Dream wife, works. I have a tendency to make very bad decisions. David, I don't want a boyfriend who just disappears because he's too busy. You're unreliable. You have brought me such beautiful flowers. Oh. Yes, I did. Maybe well, that's why. Oh, by the way, could you pause? Could you pause? So long. You're three hours late. Um, well, well. I noticed that too. What? At rom com. Every rom com has the guy holding the flowers right. at some point in it. Whether it's like that at the door or at the end when she thinks it's all over and he left, she yeah you know, uh, uh, she she gets out of her trendy New York apartment, locks the door, turns around, and there's a truck in the road, and then it pulls away, and he's just standing there with flowers, flowers with the upbeat music. Right, doo -doo. right, right. Maybe I could call that She's fade like, to black oh. too. Can't I am. <laughs> you know what the flowers represent, right? His cock. Take my cum. His. Pekka. That's what flowers represent. Yes. Take my cum. cum. <laughs> or, or, the, or the really great rom-com when he, when he has the flowers and he throws them on her chest because he raped and killed her early in the movie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that'd be a great romantic comedy. <laughs> yes, it would. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go back to the flower uh, flower? Yeah, the flowers. Part. Yeah. Always there with the flowers. Very romantic. Daisies. <sighs> All right. Yes, I did. Maybe that's why I've been stuck in the same job for so long. You're three hours late, man. You know, David, I love you like a son. I am your son. Everyone has a purpose uh, in life. Uh, I guess I just haven't it? found mine yet. Yeah. David Wozniak, in 1994, you donated to a fertility clinic anonymously. Apparently, there was a mix-up at the clinic. What? You were the biological father of 533 children. Wow. What? That's a lot of cum. It is impossible That's a to lot be the of father cum. of 500 children. It is impossible to be... D-Rock. Yeah. Would, oh. you, would you flip out if you found out that <laughs> oh, the uh, nagel okay. seed... <laughs> Exactly. The precious, the precious nagel, nagel seed, seed was just thrown about. Oh, God. and you're the father of five hundred and how many? Thirty kids. Five thirty-three. Oh, all that cum that he ditched, <laughs> fucking knotted up that condom and took home with him. I knew we would find a bit here. That's what I love about this show. I'm like, all right, throw, uh, hey, throw the trailer on. I don't know. We'll try to fucking make this shit work. Oh. That's the beauty of us. Throwing those used up condoms into that little front pocket of his jeans. That's right. Yeah. Taking the nagel seed with you. Right? You took it home. Yeah. Early in the morning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You didn't want it to uh, be laying around. Like this. No but, drops spared. But the Vince Vaughn character is just leaving his fucking seed laying around. He didn't give a fuck. Jesus. Would you freak out? Would you ever donate to a, a sperm bank? No, I wouldn't. And I would uh, probably kill myself. Wow. What? <laughs> what, would it, what would it take to make that happen? <laughs> 500 something kids. Oh. Why would, why? I think that would be kind of cool. I would kill my. Why? Wouldn't it be kind of cool to find out that he had 500 kids out there? Yeah, try to fucking get relationships with the ones who were fucking successful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, Leo, little CEO there. <laughs> I'm your daddy. You'd have a few duds in there. Oh, oh a bunch. Of course. Just a few. Oh, boy. E Rock would never donate. No. The Nagel seed because he knows it's worth. It's precious. E Rock, can we do a contest where you give up some some seed? Oh, what a contest that, <laughs> that would be! Roll. I know there's a woman out there that needs some oh, seed. God. No, but we'd have to watch it because somebody <laughs> in programming would probably try to take the Nagel seed for oh, themselves. Oh boy, would you give up some Nagel seed? I don't think we could do anything with bodily fluids. Oh, 
We'd, we'd package it properly. A lucky winner would get the Nagel seed. <laughs> Little dime bags. <laughs> no, just knotted up condoms that you can tuck right into that front pocket like you used to. Like the uh, old I'm days. talking about seed that they could actually use. I'm, yeah. all, I'm all in here. Squeeze it into themselves. Where uh, you get a, a lovely young lady out there that oh. might need some seed. Right. And they win the, uh, she wins the Nagel seed. And it's a condom full, and you got to squeeze it in like a gogurt container. <laughs> gogurt. <laughs> Go oh. <laughs> Sounds uh, disgusting. Only, and I'm sure you eat that stuff, Sam. I don't eat gogurt. Because you eat like an no? eight year old. No, it's too much nutritional content. All oh, right, yeah. No, no, Iraq, you're not in. I don't think anybody would really want that prize. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God! Are but you? But you took it home, so obviously you yeah, must think it yeah. has some worth. You know, it's a big gift. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bleachy gift. Let's, sure, let's give a lucky listener some of our seed. Oh my God! <laughs> so you have done that so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Whether they wanted it or not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes it was just on the back of their calf. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't leave that seed with one of the many Nagel hookups in the day. Right. You know how much it's worth. What do you think, E? Yeah, they take it, leave it at a crime scene. Nagel put up some numbers, right? Oh, yeah. He put yeah. up some fucking numbers. That boat. Living in Florida. That's yeah. right. We, we used to, he drove to high school in a boat. Yeah. Yep. You're telling me that kid's not putting up numbers? Exactly. Fucking... Big fucking lottery prize winner. He won the lottery, drove to high school in a boat. He's got three houses. He's oh, good. That's crazy. Dude, this guy, he's becoming a star. The guy on the left. He was in a movie with... Uh, uh, Five-year uh, engagement? Was that the one? With Jason Siegel? Yeah. 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 He was a rock star in that movie. Oh, yeah. He's in Parks and Rec. Okay. Oh, yeah. Did, we haven't had him on yet, right? I don't think so. He's a rock star. I pitched him. <laughs> now he will be on our show. Yeah. Rowan will pitch him as soon as this show's over today. Yeah. As soon as we show interest in anyone, Rowan's oh, yeah. right on it. I'll go back slightly. So Vince Vaughn finds out he's the father of 534 oh, or something like that. Yeah. Kids? 533. 33? Okay. Yeah. It is impossible to be the father of 533 children. It is impossible to be the father of four children. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, boy. In a situation like this, a normal person would not be in this situation. We're in trouble, David. Your kids are suing to find out who their biological father is. Oh, what do we do now? This envelope contains the profiles of your children. Do not open it. Oh, I know yeah. it, but I picked up one of the profiles. I just picked one. Worst idea ever. I'm an actor missing the audition of a lifetime right now. I'll take care of the coffee shop. Who are you, man? I can make a cup of coffee. Ah! Oh, he can't. Oh, job. Lost your job. I got the part. You got the part? Fuck yeah! Oh, look. This could be the most Is that one of his kids? Ever happened. Yeah. Yes. These kids need someone to look out for them. Yeah! They need a guardian angel. Hey, sexy! What are you doing? You never seen a girl before? When you're looking out for these oh. kids, will you be wearing some kind of cape? Oh. I didn't say superhero. I said guardian angel. You do not want to reveal yourself. You don't want to be known as the guy with 500 kids. For the first time in my life, I'm doing That's the right, right. thing. That's right. That's it! Is that Jonah Hill? No. This is gonna be a bad, day. <laughs> bad guy. <laughs> I officially set out to try and. Oh, is life. that a dud? Nice. Can I think be so. strange. I think he had a dud. Oversized, but it's my life. Oh, that's sick. right. You don't have the skills to be a father. Daddy. Okay, stop that. I need order. And this is order. That's uh, fucking great. Boy. <laughs> Coming this Thanksgiving. All right, I'm going to tell you how the movie ends because uh -huh. Hollywood's not fucking brave in the end. In the end, it's gonna the guy's going to come back to him and go, oh, you know, they're, they're not your you, kids. Yeah, because they they can't leave you right. with Vince Vaughn having 533 kids. You're absolutely but, right. But he learned some life lessons thinking that he was the father of 533 kids. Yes, I guarantee that that's how this fucking movie ends. Exactly what right? it is. I bet. You can't just leave. And he's all busted up about it, but it's okay because he might as well be their dad now because he took right. care of so many or, of them. And, or maybe a couple are right. in the end. Maybe that actor dude that was at the yeah, coffee yeah. shop. But in the end, he's not the father of 533 exactly. kids because well, Hollywood just doesn't play that way. I, I told you I auditioned for this film. I auditioned for a small part in it. 
And I know how it ends because I saw the script. Oh, shit. How does it end, Jimmy? It turns out he has a genetic deformity, and there are 500 that are his kids, and they all have Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and they all they beat him to death savagely in the street <laughs> with hammers. <laughs> that movie would be hilarious. Oh, well, I would watch that. <laughs> they angrily bash him oh, with their shoes God. and hammers. Oh, because they always come up with these concepts that are like, holy fuck. And yeah. they're like, nah, we can't really fucking do that. So Call Crispin Glover to get Good. some of his actors that he uses in his uh, <laughs> right. films. Oh, right. <laughs> when, are, when is he coming back? He was oh, fun, right? He was good. He was great. Because in the end, you know, they... they th they think Vince Vaughn is a real person. Uh -huh. People, these dummies watch these movies and like, fuck, Vince Vaughn's actually, this, his character's a real person. And that's so Hollywood's like, yeah, he is a real person, so we can't have him have 533 kids in the end. But that's the way they'll end it, yeah. Yeah, because they have to. You're right. That is a good call right there. Oh, I, I have no doubt, and I haven't read any spoilers or any spoiler yeah. sites. I don't go to those I never heard places. of this until, like, fucking two minutes, minutes ago. ago with, right. Uh, rolling.